Okay, hello YouTube, Mads back again, and today we are going to be talking about Borang's wall pressure, uh, particularly his season 3 wall pressure. Um, because he's uh, yeah definitely had a buff to his wall game in season 3 because of this move here. Um, where they can no longer duck, that gets you at plus 3 in right foot forward with your opponent backed up against the wall. Which is the best position to be in. When your opponent is against the wall and you're Horang, right foot forward is the stance to be. And I will explain why in a minute. But first I want to talk about a move that is often overlooked by Horang players. And to be fair, I don't use it that much either when I really should. Um, because in right foot forward, right foot forward, obviously he's got this, right? He's got the down forward, three forward. Which everyone knows leads you plus, right? So you can safely... Uh, if your opponent's fast enough, he can ex exchange a jab with you, but generally, you can pretty safely hit the jab out of that uh, if you time it perfectly, which isn't that difficult. But, this move here, right, 4 full, before just 4, on its own, just the 4, leaves you at like minus 6, so it's pretty unremarkable. But when you push into Flamingo, it leaves you at like plus 6 or 7, 7 I think, or we'll say plus 7. Um, so let me show you why why that will be considered a good position to be in. Right, watch this. Switch positions, yes. Right, I'm gonna get the other Horang. I'm really bad at recording stuff, especially when I'm on video, so bear with me. Uh, repeat action, record. Um, so I want. Right, good, right, so. You saw what I did there. I've got Horang to do this into that. Alright, so I'm going to block the first kick, and then I'm going to try to interrupt the second. Bearing in mind, there's not a counter hit, he's not hitting me, I'm just blocking. Alright, watch this. See that? That is why that is such a good move. Putting him in, put, putting Warang at plus seven guarantees if they press a button, you're going to get the counter hit there. If you do the down forward four afterwards. Um, which, you think how slow that down forward four is? That's how good the plus seven frame advantage is for Horang. Um, so yeah, now this can sometimes be dick jabbed. Not that time, obviously. Uh, but there are some, there, there you go, see? There are some scenarios where you can dick jab Horang out of it. So if your opponent is prone to doing that, you can try this instead. Which, again, completely uninterruptible. So that'll try to press a button there, and if I try to dick jab, Nothing I can do. Um, and that's only put minus 10 as well. So if, uh, if, I, if your opponent does block that, he's only getting a 10 frame punish there. So not, not a massive risk. But yeah, but the point of this exercise is literally just how good. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, right, let me switch normal now back to normal position. Ah! Right, so what's he doing? He needs to get to guard everything. Right now, so that's, I just wanted to touch on that move there, like how good this is for um, just kind of give you a demonstration of just how good it is to be at plus seven in that, in that stance. Um, now obviously this down forward four can be sidestepped, um, but when your opponent's against the wall, it's a lot harder for them to sidestep things, so you could try just forward three, which again is steppable, but against the wall it's very difficult. Um, yeah, you can even try the full string there, uh, but that's, that is uh, not launch punchable, but it is punishable. Uh, usually it creates a bit of distance, but obviously against the wall it doesn't so much, so you can be punished for that. But it is an option. Uh, but, you've got, um, yeah, you've got your, your safe options here, which kind of, they're not tracking moves, but they act like tracking moves when your opponent is backed against the wall. It makes it much harder for them to sidestep. So yeah, you've got the forward three, or you could try just a jab or a two, you know, um, there's lots of options. Um, but anyway, the point of this video is wall pressure, right? So, uh, I'm gonna include this, what I've just shown you in, in with the pressure. Um, there are lots of things you can do. When Horang is in right foot forward and his opponent is against the wall, he is an absolute monster. I mean, this is where the beast comes out of Horang. This is where he is unrelentingly brutal to his opponents, if you know how to how to do it. Um, so what you can do, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give you a little string. Uh, well, no, actually, I'm going to show you some moves before I do that, right? All the things that put Horang in plus, right? This is plus. This is plus. Um, this is plus. 
This is plus. This is plus. This is plus. This is plus. This is plus. This is plus. This is plus. Right, so many uh, scenarios where Huarang, oh, and uh, also if they block the down forward fall, also plus one, so still plus. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a few strings, a bit, a bit of pressure, and I'm, every time I'm plus, I'm just going to say the word plus or safe, right? So it's either going to be a plus move or a safe move, right? I'm, just, I'm probably going to get this wrong the first time now because I've, I've built myself up to it, so bear with me. But, so we've done this move, yeah? We, uh, we've hit them. We're there and we're plus three. Right? We've used this to push them back to the wall and we are plus three, right? So let's just assume we've done that in right foot forward. So, plus, 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 safe. Plus, 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 safe. Starting to get the picture now. Plus, plus, safe. Plus, 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 safe. Plus, 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 safe. Plus, 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 safe. Starting to get the picture now. He's starting to see just how dangerous Warring's mix-ups is. And it's, uh, I mean, there are things you can do in, in uh, left foot forward as well. Um, for example, up forward two puts you a plus six on block. Um, which would then give you time to like do that, which would then put you back in right foot forward again. You always want to kind of revolve around right foot forward when your opponent's against the wall, if you can. So uh, yeah, let's just try something else. So we've got plus, 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 plus. So um, plus, 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 safe. Plus, 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 safe. Um, and it doesn't even have to end with that, you know, I'm just doing that as a generic thing. There's, you know, I'm not even going through his full pressure here. I'm just showing you how advantageous it can be when you just throw out them plus moves. Obviously, if your opponent's crouching and look at, if you're, if you're against a good opponent, he's going to be looking for ways to punish you. So you're going to want to end it short most of the time. So something like this, maybe. So yeah, again, you've got that. There you go. Plus, 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 safe. All right? So that's four forward, two. Forward, four, forward, one. Or you can do it the other way. You can do it with the mid first, you know, like plus, 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 safe. Or, oh yeah, you could even do this as well. Um, plus, 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 safe. You know, or power crush, plus, plus, safe. Um, yeah, but... Um, pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video really just how how dangerous Warren can be when when you understand how his plus frames work because remember I spoke about this one earlier the um, the, the four into the flamingo into the down forward one if they press a the button there you're gonna get the counter hit launch if they don't press the button you're still plus one you are still plus one um, so yeah you, you're st it's still your your turn to attack basically uh, so yeah, plus, 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 safe. Plus, 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 safe. It, there's just so much you can do there. It's just such a beast of a position to be in. Um, you know, what I will do now is show you the, the cons of it. You know, there's pros and cons. I want to show you all the good stuff. I'm also now going to point out a lot of the, the plus stuff is high. So every time... I do a high move. I'm just going to let you know that this is, these are all times that you could be ducked and interrupted with a, like a quick, well standard 11 pun, 11 frame punish. Uh, so high, 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 high. So over half of that was high. There was like seven moves there, and half of them were high, and uh, four of them were high. Sorry. Um, so yeah, you need to keep mixing it up with the mid. Since I was saying earlier. Um, you can cut it short, you know, you go mid, high, and then mid, or mid, high, high, mid. So I mean, you, you wanna be mixing it up somehow. Remember, you're always at plus, as long as you're using these kicks to push into Flamingo, or you mix it up with the up forward two, or if you switch, that's plus, that's also plus, that's plus. Do you know what I mean? There, there's so many options you can do. Um, or you could just cut it very short just to keep it super safe, right? Go mid, mid. You're plus four there, so it's technically not safe to go for that. 
but as long as your opponent is aware that Horang's plus there, he's going to be careful. So if you think they're going to press a button, um, you just press one. Uh, two, sorry. You just press two there. Um, if you think they're not going to press the button, well, you can do whatever you like. Uh, but yeah, Horang's wall game really scary, especially because of this, you know, so let's do sort of a real scenario. They're near a wall, I've done that. Plus, 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 safe. And obviously if you hit any of these as counter hits, I'll, I'll show you what I can do. Um, what am I doing, what am I doing? Oh yeah, right, stand. Um, so, let's, let's just put counter hit on. Um, no, no, I won't. I'll do it normally. So, we all know this counter hit here, right? If you hit that, if you hit that as a counter, you get, if you hit the down forward four into Flamingo as a counter, you get the two back four for free, right? So, you get this. So, there's a combo there. Um, but you can also do it from this, this kick as well, the normal kick, right? Works exactly the same for the exact same damage. So it works in, with both kicks. Um, uh, so what was I doing? Yeah, so I was saying plus, 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 safe. Right? So the two counter hit moves I used there were this one and this one. So if you hit this as a counter hit, you get a big wall combo there. That wasn't even optimal. That's just, you know, 92 damage and that's not even optimal there. So yeah, big wall combo for that. Or if you hit this one, Um, you get a small wall combo, but still a combo nonetheless, right? That's like 49 damage there. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously that on hit, you get a free combo. Uh, if you get this as a counter hit, I think you get a free hit. Yeah, you do. So you probably a forward forward. You can either get like a back three or a forward forward three. So you get a back three. Or four, four, three. So yeah, th that was the point of this video. Basically, it's, it's only, but I just wanted to show you how dangerous Warang is in right foot forward. Obviously, out in the open when you're away from the wall, he's got a lot of pushback in right foot forward, so it's not as good. It's safe, but it's not as good. Obviously, you know, out of wall, that's when Warang goes into beast mode. So, yeah, just a little recap of what you can do. Plus, 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 plus safe. Plus, plus, plus. No, sorry, that wasn't plus. That last one wasn't. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this as well, yeah. Also, you're kind of... It's not plus, but it's eight frames, so it kind of is, you know. And you can't be interrupted there. You can only be ducked. Uh, but that's not great against the wall. Um, that will encourage your opponent to duck because they're, they're scared anyway when pouring has got you in. They're going to be wanting an opportunity to crouch. So I wouldn't really throw that in too much because that would just remind them all oh, crouch is a good option. So that's more out in the open, but not against the wall. But you can use it, you know, I'm not saying don't, I'm just saying it's, I wouldn't. I, I would save that for another scenario. Um, but yeah, um, so much you can do here. Plus, 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 safe. Plus, 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 safe. There's so many things you can do. Um, let's just do a big plus, like I try and do a big plus string. Um, plus, 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 plus. Actually, no, I don't think that is. That's not actually. If they block that, you're not plus. Ignore that one. They block two into Flamingo. Uh, so what can we do there instead? Plus, 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 plus. Uh, so, yeah, okay, so plus, 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 plus. Not plus, but still. Um, so many scenarios where if your opponent presses a button, you're going to get good counter hits. There's just so much you can do. Uh, also, I want to show you a, um, a wall combo. Uh, say, for example, you get a good Oki and your opponent tries to first wake up attack, which are launch punishable, both the low and the high. So you were to block and guard with a back three. A really good optimal wall combo for this would be forward four, three, three, four, down forward four, and then you get the back three for free. So... So that's 67 damage, which is pretty much optimal from a back three, I think. Yeah, see, there you get 62. So yeah, um, 
always a good option if you get a launch at a hall. Nice little combo there. Plus you get the good Oki. You get the really good tech um, for, the, for after that. Uh, but yeah, let's let's try a big a big uh, pressure string. Uh, do you know what? I've only really thought about what I was going to show in the video. I just try and one off the top of my head. Um, now the only thing that wasn't really um, plus there was this when I went from there to there. You know, from there to there, if they block, you can be interrupted. But that was it. Everything else, you plus on block. You know, plus, 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 safe. Do you know what I mean? When Horang is against the wall, he is deadly. And that, that is the, the, the only real point of this video. My advice to you would be take Horang to the lab, do what I've done and set the opponent to uh, set it to the wall, the reef up to the wall. And then just practice some plus strings. You know, so remember, you've got, let's have a quick recap. This kick into Flamingo is plus. This kick into Flamingo is plus. Um, and you've also got your low options as well, don't forget. You can start off with your low pressure. Don't forget about all this. Um, but yeah, um, the jab out of both of them kicks, so that's plus. The jab also plus, so you're still in plus. Yeah? The kick and the jab, both of those leave you in plus, or the kick and the counter hit launch, still plus one, so you can safely try some jabs. Um, obviously, that plus six, this plus four, so you can safely jab out of that, no problem, still plus. This, like, on block is uh, plus six, maybe, I think. So again, very plus, and then you can go into the jab from there, which puts you a plus five. So again, you can safely try that. Safely try the full one plus two. Um, yeah, and combine all that with his low pressure, you know, and just his general fuckery that he can do, you know, just to keep your opponent on their toes. Um, yeah, Huarang is just so dangerous, really. Um, just for fun, I'll show you his optimal combo if you hit one of these, right? Ah. So yeah, 97 damage you can get on that if you manage to hit this one as a counter. Which is, um, after you immediately go for the up forward four afterwards. Um, so it'll keep Horang in a standing, his status will still be standing. Uh, that hence the reason you get the full launch there for 48 damage. So you've essentially got a 48 damage launch there. And after you've done that, you hit four four forward four to land three kicks into right foot forward. Uh, and then into a generic wall combo. So yeah, there's that. Um, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. So yeah, that's pretty much it boys and girls. Um, all I want to talk about for this video is just go and practice up wall pressure. Go into the lab, get Warang into the lab, set it so you restart against all and just practice those plus frame moves. You know? Remember, kicks into the jabs are your best options, right? That's plus. That jab lands you in plus five. This kick is plus seven. That jab is plus five. Um, kick is plus seven. That attempt to counter hit launch still leaves you at plus one. So it's still your turn. Remember this, boys and girls. When you are, when Horang has got his opponent against the wall, that is when he's at his most fearsome. That is when, that's what you want to really practice. If you're one of them players like me who loves putting lots of pressure on the opponent, wall, wall pressure is the way to go with Horang. That is really where he excels. Right foot forward, wall pressure. And yeah, obviously you've got, um, Left Flamingo, that's now really good on plus, you know, and, and this. So he's got some really, really great options there. Uh, the right foot forward, forward three, is also plus on block. Uh, so the jab can't be interrupted. I don't think that can either, to be honest. Let's try, let's, let's just try that. We'll try that before we end the video. Record, the action, record. So, right, let's try that. Yeah, not interruptible. So again, very plus, very plus. Um, so yeah, and remember that forward three in Flamingo there, the second kick, that's plus four now as well. <laughs> that's plus four. What more can you say? Pouring is an absolute beast at the wall. And that's all there is to say, and that's all I'm gonna say. 
Thank you for watching boys and girls. I do hope you learned something. Um, I did have fun with this video. Um, just a quick recap as well, when your opponent, to get your opponent to the wall, why is this working? Um, this, you know, that's really good now for getting your opponent to the wall, even if they block it, it pushes them back, it leaves you at plus three, so, yeah, that's where you do all your, um, all your fuckery, if you like. So yeah, from there you're plus three and then straight into the pressure. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, boys and girls. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope I've improved, helped you improve your horang game a little bit. And that will be it until the next video. Muzz and the Rang, out.